focus are painted black. They use sun radiations to cook food. A marketing head of one of the solar cooker companies suggests that uh, black is a dull color and we should replace it with something more vibrant. He suggests uh, silver tend to be bright or we could also look at rose. It is trending this day. Or what about gold? I mean, it is a solar cooker we are talking about. And the CEO of the company loves the idea. You, as a scientist, know it's not going to work out. But how do you convince the CEO and the marketing head? That's right, you run an experiment and present the data. To find which is a better absorber of heat, you require, first of all, a heating source. A filament lamp will do the job. You require different surfaces with a temperature measuring device. We will use four different surfaces. Tiny black, tiny white, matte black, matte white. We place all the four surfaces at equal distance from the heating source. There is a thermometer attached to each of the surface. We start the lamp and let it heat the setup for a given period of time. After the set period of time is over, we turn off the heating source and measure the temperature in each of the surfaces. When electromagnetic radiation, in this case we are interested in infrared radiation, falls on any surface, some of it gets absorbed by the surface, some of it is reflected off and some of it passes right through it. Different materials have different capacities to absorb, to reflect and to transmit radiation through them. Smooth surfaces, polished and shiny surfaces, bright colors are good reflector of infrared radiation. On the other hand, rough surfaces, matted surfaces, dark color surfaces are good absorbers of infrared radiation. Good absorbers of radiation are also good emitter. You can verify this with the help of an experiment. In order to find out which surface is a good emitter of infrared radiation, we will use a box with an opening to fill water. The four sides of the box are painted with different surfaces. You have matted black, you have polished black, you have polished white, and you have matted white. You pour in hot water to the inlet and place thermometers at equal distance from all the four surfaces. 
then you let the setup be for a fixed duration of time. Once the fixed duration of time elapses, you note down the reading in each of the thermometers. You compare the reading with the reading of the thermometer taken prior to the experiment and see which surface gave a greater rise in temperature. Now if you become a CEO of a solar cooker company, I hope you will not change the color 